Today, we're making a recipe that goes against everything I believe in. One pot macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Did I trick you guys? Did you think we were making a non-vegan meal? No, never. But as an Italian, cooking pasta like in a one pan kind of situation, not boiling it ahead of time does sort of bother me. But I made this recipe up one day when I did need a quick lunch and I was like, you know what? I kind of want mac and cheese. I just want to make it quick. And it worked out pretty well. And obviously one pan pastas are all over the internet. So we're making a one pan vegan mac and cheese with broccoli. It's gonna be delicious, so let's do it. Hair is up, so we're down to mac and cheese business. Now real quick, before we get into this recipe, I just want to say that you can use whatever kind of pasta you like if you're gluten-free. I made this the first time with Bonza chickpea pasta. It worked great. This time I'm using regular pasta, so don't worry if you're gluten-free, you can enjoy this and you can add in more seasoning, more spices. This is just part of my easy meals to get you through the end of the year series that we've been doing. So minimal ingredients, quick to make, like 20 to 30 minutes and it's gonna be delicious. I got my pan here. I got some elbows, so I'll pour those in. My philosophy for cooking one pan mac, ooh, that's a piece of cardboard. <laughs> one pan mac and cheese is we gotta kinda treat it like a risotto almost and we gotta like cook it slowly and incorporate the liquid. So we have eight ounces of elbow pasta here. Next up, we've got half a cup of non-dairy milk. I'm using Ripple pea protein milk. I'm gonna add in three quarters of a cup vegan cheddar shreds, only a little bit, half a tablespoon of vegan butter, two ounces of vegan cream cheese, and then we got like half a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna add in half a cup of water to start. We'll incorporate more as we go. I'll give this a mix around. So at this point, nothing really like fun is happening. I'm just mixing it all together. That cream cheese will melt down as everything warms up. I'm gonna add in another half cup of water. So, so far we've added a cup of water and a half a cup of the non-dairy milk. So a cup and a half of liquid. I'm going to now cover this with a lid and we'll let this hang out for a few minutes, like three to five minutes, I'll check on it. It's been a few minutes, so I just wanna check on this real quick, see how we're doing. Well, doesn't that just look gorgeous? Let's give it a mix. You wanna use a small pasta like the elbows or you know something like that, shells, cause they cook up quicker. So it's looking good. I'm gonna give these little pasta a taste, see how cooked they're going. They're good, I'm gonna add in another half cup of water. They're still a little hard, they still need a few more minutes. Mix everything back up and then we'll cover with the lid again for a few more minutes and then we'll check them and you know you cook pasta to your al dente preference that's on you it's a you thing okay it's looking good i mean there's just nothing like a pan of mac and cheese right so it's been another few minutes at this point i think the pasta is cooked to the way i want it done if you like it a little bit softer cook it for a little longer add in a slightly more water I'm gonna remove it from the stove for a minute so we can add in our broccoli. And I think I wanna add in a little more vegan cheese and milk. This is one of those recipes that like, you kind of just gotta go with being flexible on it. You might need to add more things in, but I'm gonna remove it from the heat for a minute. I'm gonna add in our broccoli. This has been sitting out for a little while, so I guess it's kind of thawed, but it's still pretty frozen. And like I said, I think I wanna add in a little more vegan cheese and non-dairy milk. So I got another half cup of the ripple, only because I think it's gonna really need some more liquid in there. And we're gonna throw this back on the stove too, so like don't be alarmed. <laughs> I'm gonna add in another quarter cup of vegan cheese. I'm gonna mix that in, but then I'm gonna pop a little on top. We're gonna cover this again on the stove and just let it cook and everything. So hopefully we get some melty vegan cheese action. This is the vegan cheese from Whole Foods, the Whole Foods 365 brand, it's pretty good. Popping my lid back on and this is just gonna go back on the stove over low for a few minutes just to get everything nice and melted up. Oh my God, I, oh, I almost just dropped that. Wow, that was a lot heavier than I anticipated. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, literally my whole life just flashed before my eyes. I picked that up and it was so much heavier than I thought it was gonna be. And I, I almost just dropped our beautiful mac and cheese. That would have really sucked. 
but I didn't luckily. I was like, whoa, that is a lot heavier. Okay, anyway, so something I just wanna say is if you wanna use a different veggie in here, if you wanna throw in frozen peas, um, I don't know, I mean, what else do people really put in like mac and cheese? I feel like it's like peas or broccoli. I, if you wanted to do string beans, I think I would like that actually, string beans and mac and cheese. But yeah, I mean, whatever kind of veggie you wanna throw in there, use whatever pasta you like, and that's it. Simple meal, simple, simple things as we head to the end of December. Crazy, this year flew, didn't it? Let's see what's going on in here. So that cheese on top didn't melt quite like I wanted it to, so I'll just mix it in. But it looks, it looks yummy. I mean, we all know that's the sound of good vegan mac and cheese, so. I am very impressed with a one pot pasta when it comes to mac and cheese. I think it works well for that, but I wouldn't do much else as a one pot pasta, personally. So at this point, I think we're ready to just plate it up. You can always taste it, add in any additional seasonings that you like, and yeah, but for me, I tasted it, taste delicious, so let's get it into something. So I got my nice little, I don't know, these are like plate bowls, I guess, because it's like flat and not too deep. Honestly, they're so great for food photography. So let's get some in here. Jeez, I made a mess, huh? Dropping things, spilling things. Do a few more little scoops so we got a nice full dish here. I think that's pretty good. Looks nice and yummy to me. You guys ready for a taste test? All right, we've reached my favorite point of the video. We're at taste test time. So it looks so good. We have to get a nice bite with everything in it. Of course, we need the broccoli and some good pasta. Mmm, look at that. So good. My favorite part is really how creamy it is. Like, you wouldn't think it would be this creamy, but I guess because the way we cooked everything together, comes out so good. So yeah, that's our easy one pot vegan mac and cheese. I hope you try this recipe out. As always, full run out recipes on the blog. Link in the description box down below. I put all the ingredients down below. If you wanna round this meal out, add in some tofu or like vegan chicken nuggets in the oven, you could cook them and then top it with buffalo sauce. Mm. But it's also really good on its own. But if you just wanted to get in some protein, you could always use the bonza chickpea pasta as well or protein pasta. My pots and pans I'm using are from Caraway. They're having sales right now for the holiday. If you're interested, check the description box down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. If you need more easy recipes, check out the other ones I posted so far and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.